How's it going guys? I'm back with another new comic book day haul and this is kind of a special haul because this week was free comic book day so hopefully everyone got out to their local comic shops and got some free comic books or at least one. So I'll get right into it. The first issue I have is uh, The Woods number 32 by James Tinney and the Fourth and Michael Dialinus. And I believe issue 33 is starting the concluding arc of the woods. So who knows how long the arc is going to be. Maybe six issues, maybe ten issues. Uh, who knows. But I'm happy that the book is picking up pace. Next I have issue four of Shipwreck by Warren Ellis with art by Phil Hessler. It's been pretty interesting. It has been a while since the third issue came out, but next I have Planetoid Prax issue four. This is by uh, Ken Garing. It kind of skips a couple years ahead after issue after the first issue, so the story is kind of a kind of odd, but I thought it was pretty good. And what's interesting about uh, these uh, Planetoid Prax issues is that the back always has a short story by Garing as well. So if I haven't mentioned it, it has like a couple pages of an extra story he puts in there. Then I got number three of Savage Things by Justin Jordan and art by uh, Bram Mustafa. It's a pretty interesting story about these uh, ultimate killers and how they got their training and stuff. Then I have a few second issues here. This is uh, The Courier, number two, by Ralph Tedesco and J.G. Miranda. The art by Miranda is pretty good, but it is a kind of a typical post-apocalyptic story. And then we have Smoke Town number two. This is by uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson with art by Scott Van Domlin. The first issue was interesting. I think these are going to be shorts or uh, interconnected stories. Yeah, I believe the first one was about this woman here. And it looks like we're going to have a look at her husband, maybe, who was a soldier. So, like I said, number one was interesting. I did not know this was still on my list, but... And then I have issue two of Invisible Hands. This was a pretty trippy one. This is written by Naslo Tamafia with art by Michael Malantin. It basically started off with these guys in a bar talking about weird stuff going down in this town and then it kind of ventures off from one story to a second story that's taking place within the first story if that makes sense it still keeps within the continuity somehow it's kind of an odd book but it was pretty good the first issue was pretty good uh, then i have issue two of uh the Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. This was uh, done by uh, Diego Olmos. And it is a two issue series, so this is the last issue. It's by Amigo Comics. Uh, the first one was all right. Uh, I think it was just about this guy that comes back to life. He's kind of a zombie, he's kind of a monster creature thing. And he's kind of just running amok, taking beautiful young women, I guess. And here are the free comic books that I got for free comic book day. And it's mostly books that I probably wouldn't get. It's a lot of mainstream titles. This is Secret Empire from Marvel. A book I did not pick up and probably won't keep on getting. I'm just not a big fan of the crossovers that... Marvel keeps doing. And here's more Marvel. This is the 
all new Guardians of the Galaxy, which I actually was thinking of uh, checking out. And I think I may have flipped through the book, but I just didn't get into the art. But hey, now I got it free. So we got Wonder Woman number one. I never picked up any of the Wonder Woman. I'm just picking up maybe one or two books from uh, the new Rebirth DC, but not really, not really getting much from them. And this is uh, I Hate Image by Scotty Young. Is it just I Hate Fairyland, but different? I don't know. Or is this a one shot? Anyways, it was free, so I Hate Fairyland. I don't know, is that like a special cover? <laughs> Either way, I never checked out I Hate Fairyland. I wasn't that interested, even though I do kind of like Scotty Young's art. Except not for covers, because it's everywhere on covers. And the final free comic book that I got was The Walking Dead 163. Which I actually picked up, because it was 25 cents a couple weeks back, or a couple months back. I can't remember. So now I got another copy of a series that I really don't read. <laughs> I think I just got it because it was 25 cents. And finally, Terry Moore's Motor Girl, Volume 1. I've heard some mixed feelings about this book, but I figured eh, I'll check out the first trade. I've heard it's a sci-fi story. I've heard it's not really a sci-fi story. I do like Terry Moore's art. He doesn't have the best paneling. It's just kind of square after square. But his his art is nice. It kind of doesn't seem as detailed as in Rachel Rising, but who knows? Maybe that's just me. Here's a late new comic book day haul. I apologize for that. But I do appreciate anyone who's watching and i do want to thank all my subscribers to hit 200 that's it's always great having all these people actually follow me who knows why <laughs> but yeah thank you very much